I tried coffee made from different machines and robots in Singapore, I'm probably gonna have insomnia and anxiety by the end of this video but it's okay. So stay with me on this adventure and let's go! So first up here we have Ratio Cafe, it is located right at level 5 of Centre Point. At the point of visit, they were running a brunch promotion for a cup of coffee and pastry for only $7.90. It is amazing because the drinks are made purely from the robot barista and it was honestly quite a show. Everything there was very very high tech and I enjoyed it a lot. I would highly recommend this place to anyone. So the first cup of this series will be the Nescafe Dolce Gusto Cafe Ole. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So this cup of Nescafe will be the reference point when I compare it with the subsequent cups of coffee that I will be having in this entire video. So the verdict for this cup of coffee, it is kind of like a daily routine for me. I have it almost every other day so it's pretty much my go-to coffee at any point in time. It is strong, it is creamy, it's not too overwhelming but it gets what's done and it is really convenient so definitely I pretty much enjoy having this cup of coffee every single day. Up next, I'm sure you're no stranger to this place. Yes, we are at IKEA, queuing for the food and they make their coffee free for IKEA family members. And since it is a self-dispensed coffee from a machine, it falls right into our criteria for this video. And for IKEA considering that the coffee is made affordable and accessible to all, definitely some compromises on the quality but nevertheless, the food and ambience is still solid, so... Hey, good morning! Back in campus right now. I just got the coffee from Coffee Board. Cost me around $2 uh, for a normal latte. So on the indication level, they mentioned that the coffee strength is maximum, but it just doesn't really feel that strong at all. It feels pretty mild in fact. Personally, don't think that this is actually that worth it. So now I'm at 7-Eleven, I decided to try out their hot Americano and by the time of this voiceover, I already have my verdict. So it is actually surprisingly good and the coffee beans roast is legit and is definitely one of the better ones throughout this entire series. Today we are going to Esso, a petrol station, to get a hot coffee. Is the coffee machine working? Uh, can I just pay me for it? Thank you. So here we go. Okay, so it costs us 180 to get this cup of coffee. Uh, it's a hot latte. Uh, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I think that the coffee tasted pretty decent. Um, nothing too special about it it's just a very normal cup of hot coffee for the price point of 180 i think i would prefer to go to a coffee shop instead to get a cup of coffee there so enough talking let's hit the gym so uh, right now i'm in sap's office and i'm going to order the coffee from the coffee machine and in SAP, they have a collaboration with Crown Coffee, which features uh, Ella, a robotic barista. So I'm gonna use the app to make my order right now. I'm using the app right now. I'm gonna order a latte, a vanilla one. Buy right now.
Right, so I'm in the office right now. I got on a vanilla latte from Ella and yeah. Because I got it from the office, so technically it's free for me. If you were to get it from their other outlets, uh, such as the one at Plaza Singapura or uh, Raffles Place, I think their latte costs around $4. So they use premium coffee beans roasted in Rome. Full body, robust espresso with a chocolatey note. Crown Digital is one of the first that uses the power of robotic and AI into the coffee space. It is one of the first tech-enabled solution in the FMB landscape. So since I'm in the office right now, so I might as well do some work. So let's skip to the time lapse. Okay, I don't know if you can hear the audio well, but I just got a coffee from the coffee box at Shell Petrol Station. I think overall it tastes pretty decent. It costs one thirty. Yeah, I think it's better than the one that I had at Esso Petrol Station. And while it doesn't taste as authentic as the ones that you can get at coffee shop, but I think for a price of one thirty and the convenience at a petrol station, I think this is pretty decent, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. So thanks for watching, that's the end of the entire coffee series. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making them. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share it with a friend or whatsoever. It's time for me to get some beauty rest right now, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey Ma, I'm